Hello and welcome to my C-sharp string handling series. This lesson is using split and join. For this lesson, I'm going to assume that you are familiar with C-sharp and .NET. The objectives for this lesson are to create an array from a string using the split method, create a string from an array using the join method, and we're going to create a string from a list of T collection. Let's dive right into our first demo and let's create an array from a string using split. I'm going to declare two variables, sentence as a string and ARR as a string array. On line 7, I set sentence equal to this is a normal sentence. Then on line 9, I'm going to use sentence.split, which will take that string, split it on the normal white space characters, and create an array. So I'll store that back into that ARR variable. We're then going to iterate over that array, and each time through the loop, we'll grab the string and we'll put it on the console. If you jump down to line 18, I am doing ARR equals sentence.split, but this time I'm passing in the exact delimiter that I want to use to split the string on. Now, this line here is actually the same as line 9. If you don't pass anything to split, it does assume any white space character to use as the delimiter. Let's then look at our last example here where we can actually pass in something other than a white space. So for instance, if my sentence was equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, I can split on commas simply by passing a comma to the split method on that sentence string and that will then create the array. Let's go ahead and run this. And if we scroll up here, we can now see that this is a normal sentence. So that was the first one we had. The second one, remember I passed in just a white space character, so it does the exact same thing. And then the last example was a 1, 2, 3, 4, passing in a comma. So now you see each element of the array, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this split method simply takes values out of a string based on some delimiter and creates an array out of that string. You are not limited to a single delimiter. You may also pass multiple delimiters to that split method. Let's take a look. On line 34, I've done this is a sentence 1, period, and then this is a sentence 2, period. If you look at line 35, ARR equals sentence.split. The first parameter that I'm passing to split is a space, the second parameter is a period. So that's two different delimiters that it is now going to use to find areas to split this sentence into an array. And if we take a look then down on line 44, sentence equals one comma space, two comma space, three comma space, and then a four. And if you look on line 45, I'm passing two different delimiters to the split method. One is a single space and one is a comma. Let's go ahead and run this. And now we can see what it looks like if I scroll up just a little bit. So the first one you can see on line 34, this is a sentence one period and then a space. So if you notice, the array has just the words, no spaces and no periods because those were the delimiters. Same thing for that next one where I did one comma space, two comma space. You're now seeing a one, then a space, then a two, then a space. So it's actually creating an empty array element for each one of those delimiters there. So obviously you need to be a little careful if you're using multiple delimiters. You have to determine whether you want spaces as an empty array element when you're using the split. Now let's take a look at the join. We're going to create a string from an array using the join method. Here's our first example where now I'm setting ARR equal to, and then I've got an array of four items. This is a sentence period. So now when I do a string dot join, the first parameter to the join method is the delimiter I wish to use to put in between each one of those array items. And then the second parameter is the array itself. And I take the results of that and I place it into sentence. And that's what I'm then going to put out on the console.write line. If we run this, 
we now see that we've taken those four elements, put them together, but in between each array element, I have a space. I'm sure your question now is, well, what if I try to create a string from an array, but I don't pass a delimiter? What does it do? Let's take a look. If you look on line 13, I have that same array, but now look at line 14 where I'm doing sentence equals string dot join, but the first parameter now is a null, and the second parameter is still the array. So what's going to happen? If we take a look, the first one has the space in between because that's what we specify, but the second one, there's nothing. It's a null, so it just runs it all together. So again, you're probably not going to use this too much, but it is an option if you do want it. And again, you can use any delimiter there you want, a comma, anything that you can use to take that array and bring it down into a string. Now, if you're like me, you probably use a generic list quite a bit in your application and not so many arrays. So the question then is, if I have a list of T, how can I create a string from that? Let's take a look. So here on line six, I have a list of string. I call it list, and I'm initializing it to A in the first element of the list, sentence in the second element of the list, then from, then a list T. What I can do now is I can say sentence equals string dot join. Again, what delimiter I want, I'm gonna use a single space, and we can use now the range operator and do a in the square brackets dot dot list. This is exactly the same as doing a list dot to array that you see commented out on line number eight. So if you're using an older version of .NET that does not support that range operator, you can use the list dot to array, and that will convert it into a string variable. If we run this and we take a look, we get exactly what we were expecting. We get a string that says a sentence from a list of T. Do you know why you should subscribe to YouTube channels? You'll get notifications when new videos appear. You'll get recommendations for related channels. It helps the channel grow, which allows me to create more videos for you. It helps attract others to my channel. Your like helps others find videos that are good. So please take the time to like and subscribe to my channel, Paul D. Sheriff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson on using split and join in C-sharp.